what's up guys it's your girl alexis simone and today's video is gonna be like a fail oh that was okay never mind this feels gonna be like a fail and then we're gonna come back from our mistakes so i'm gonna show you guys how to bleach the knots and then basically mess them up and well i didn't basically show how to mess them up but i accidentally over bleached them because i was doing stuff for my school and i was emailing my counselor about my classes or whatever and so i was just distracted and i forgot but basically y'all uh, take some bw2 powder and some 30 volume developer mix and go ahead and put it in something and mix it y'all have to keep adding more of each because i literally just y'all i was all over the place watching tv wasn't paying attention so i wasn't having enough did not have too much liquid like you want to be like the right consistency which i feel like i can't even tell y'all that because this video is basically because i made a mistake which everybody makes mistakes so it is fine but for everybody who has bleached your knots and has over bleached them i'm gonna show you guys how to come back from that but ultimately y'all this would be the correct way to do this okay so i use a spatula the kitchen spatula i don't put it back in the kitchen i literally keep it for myself but basically i just use that and you want to like it looks like i'm doing it hard because of the speed but i'm really not just like gently like pat it on the lace and like you know just spread it on there like what they say like butter on a pancake or toast was it butter on toast um i'm kind of tired because <laughs> i just edited a whole video um but yeah just kind of going to spread on there really nicely um yeah i don't really know how to explain it any anymore there's so many tutorials on youtube but i did want to record this tutorial for you guys it ended up messing up and i didn't want a whole thing of footage to go away so i was like lexi correct these knots on camera and just post the video so y'all gonna see all that in about like a few minutes because this video is pretty short actually so yeah just stay tuned and just kind of watch me do this or whatever So now it was time for me to wash the knots and y'all I automatically realized when I took it off and I flipped the wig over that I did over bleach it and I was like oh my gosh. So I was like man so I'm just rinsing it out trying to like come looking at it putting it on my hand seeing like how over bleached it is can we get past it and I was like no nah, we can't so yeah I'll show my sister she's like well yeah you just can um make a tutorial on how to you know fix them so I'm gonna show y'all but I'm trying to show y'all um how over bleached it is but you can you can't see it in this clip like you gotta wait until we move on to the next clip and i'm in the room actually but they um fix them because you can't see them so um basically you need a spoolie a rat tail comb just for parting and some dye i use jet black because this wig is like black like when my sister bought the wig it was black and so y'all can kind of see the knots but if you are using like if you have like that natural color here that like how it looks when you first buy the hair then you use brown dye it's like i can't remember the color but i use brown dye when i have it like that so i dip the spoolie and i just kind of move it around the top because you don't want too much product on there that's gonna like make it bleed through on the lace because you don't want no black lace okay please do not okay but um y'all can kind of see all that orangeness and i kind of start since i had a little bit too much on there i kind of just start it further down and then i'm gonna work my way up y'all kind of see I'm moving fast because I know what I'm doing and because of the speed, the time lapse, obviously. But I knew what I was doing, so I'm able to move a little quicker when it comes to a lot of stuff like this. You're probably like, how you know what you was doing, but you over bleach knots? Okay, whatever. Um, It happens occasionally when I over bleach knots. Sometimes I don't and everything's fine, but I did do it on accident. It's whatever. But um, yeah, I know how to fix it, so... Yeah, I learned that real quick because when I first started doing hair, y'all, I would always over bleach. But this only happened because I literally was not paying attention. So it's just like a little mistake and it's whatever. But um, I keep telling y'all that. Like, who cares? Oh, girl, I'm tired. Oh, boy. So y'all can just kind of see that I'm just like literally just like, what was I doing? Oh, I had to put it on the floor because it was leaking and I didn't want no black dye to get on my floor. Um... But yeah, really just, I just keep doing that. And you just really do not, if anything, uh, please do not let it touch um, 
the lace like you do not want black lace i cannot stress that enough it's not gonna look cute imagine like doing this in the middle of your head and you want a middle part and now you've got like black dye now you have to try and just get foundation to cover it up with foundation to work which it should but yeah it should work don't panic if you do like yeah i didn't even have to go this far down honestly y'all i could have just corrected the edges and like where her part was gonna be at but for the sake of the video i did kind of go a little bit more than what i really needed to so i'm gonna come back if i need to but for the most part you guys should just be able to watch this by yourself <laughs> i was gonna end the clip but then i said something but yeah i'll be back So up here you can kind of see it a little better, like how just orange knots look. You don't want orange knots, y'all. And like that's one thing I cannot stand when I see these girls and they're walking around and like just like that orangeness, like that's like two inches off the roots. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm like, what are you doing? Like it's not cute. And like a lot of people don't understand that you can correct it. Like you don't have to wear it like that. You can literally take some dye, stop it on there, leave it on for like 10 minutes and wash it off, blow dry the hair, and you're good. Okay, like you're good. But a lot of people just decide to walk around with it. And it's really annoying. Um, So please, y'all, just fix it because you will get such a better outcome. And it, just, it won't look brassy and orange and all that crazy mess. You want to, like the whole point of wearing wigs is because you want to look good. You want your hair done. So if you're going to wear the wig, please wear the wig right okay because it also y'all am i the only one that can, this is so off topic am i the only one that cannot stand when you're looking up a review like you on like you buying a wig right and you're looking at the reviews and the people who got the wig on like can't do hair or whoever did it cannot do hair and the, it just look all messed up so you don't buy the wig because it just don't look right yeah i just thought i'd say that because since we're on the talk about hair not looking right Yes, guys, that's so annoying, um, and that keeps me from buying a whole lot of wigs. But yeah, I'm just doing the top, and y'all, literally, I kind of stopped just about right here, because this is about where her part was going to be at. And so I was like, you know, Lexi, you don't even got to do, like, the whole rest of the top of the wig. I was like, you could just leave it. And so I do go, like, a little bit more, then y'all just going to see me just kind of take it on the rest of the hairline, because I was getting tired. Um, and this is not the middle, this is, like, the side of her head, but, um, not of her head, but it might be child i don't know yeah it is the middle and i'm just gonna now go and go all the way across the hairline and fix those knots because yeah um or the roots um i did not want to do the whole head like i said i was tired so y'all can see me parting her part i keep it's a her okay we can call it her oh y'all can see me i'm so tired y'all i'm so sorry y'all can just see me like you know parting the hair how i want it so that way now i know like okay I don't got to do this little whole thing. So now that's when y'all can just see me getting lazy and doing it like that. But guys, I do have a tutorial that's going to be posted before this one. So make sure you guys check that video out. It's going to be me installing this wig into an asymmetrical bob, y'all. I cut it and I did my thing. So y'all got to go check it out because, yeah, it's lit. And y'all, I need a name for you guys. So if you guys have a name, I can give y'all at 1K subscribers. We're going to come up with a name, all right? But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. My name, is, my name is Alexis Simone. If you didn't know me, now you know me. Thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and turn on post notification bell to be notified when I post. And don't forget to check out this video when I did install it. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. Bye. Y'all know what I re just realized? Um, the clip, like the video, ain't even over yet. Like, <laughs> and I ended it. But yeah, guys, now I can say thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys subscribe. Bye bye.